I think this is this is always a challenge for uh, creators to funnel their audience from platforms to not be so attached to these platforms and build a community outside these platforms. Uh, it's very challenging, but I think your strategy works very well. Could you explain a little bit how, how do you do it and uh, what do you see, what works and what doesn't? Well, I think you've got to, um, you've got to provide a genuine value away from that, the app or the platform that you're using. And I think that's what I do well. Um, it's not, you're not getting the same content, you're getting more content and you're offering more value by someone making the transition to a different platform or your website. So I think that's a really key element of it. If you're offering the same thing or less elsewhere, then why would someone um, why would someone tune in elsewhere? I think that's a real key to it. I feel as though uh, because I use Substack and that's growing for me, and I see that as very much a future platform for me because it's somewhere where I can kind of provide the skeleton to to my audience of you know why I do things and the inner workings um, and that is is attractive to to them I think I see you are right and uh, are you mentioning the your substack and your newsletter in each video I think uh, lately you have mentioned almost in every at the end of every video. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit. Not just keeping the link in the bio, but you actively uh, mention it for your viewers that they can get more value if they. Yeah, I think um, I've upped that a little bit and I've brought that more directly into my videos just because I think I'm just more confident in what I'm doing away from the app. So that's just been a natural progression for me and I don't. I just feel it's real, you know, that's what I think I can add value for people uh, through that app. So okay. yeah, I have included it more, um, I, but that's just been a natural thing I guess I've done. Okay, okay. And as I can understand it works, right? How did the TikTok growth affect your uh, subscriptions, your uh, Substack following, is it? Uh, going parallel to your growth and are are uh, the followers transferring or is it a little bit more nuanced yeah it's um it's been an interesting one because uh, tiktok has been the source of a lot of the growth on there it hasn't been fast by any means um, but more recently i've grown by 65,000 followers on instagram in the past three months and that mm. has been a big source of um, new viewers, new a new audience to my Substack. So um, really Instagram at the moment, which was a platform I didn't think I'd be talking about so much, um, has been a real um, great place to be. And so mm. TikTok, yeah, is steady. But TikTok for, you know, content creators who certainly prospered around COVID and just after, like I did, you know, I think everyone's noticed speaking to them, everyone's noticed a slowdown. Um, there's been just not, not in terms of even, um, you know, it's, it's content that's worked notoriously for, for us all throughout that time period. And we just notice those videos just don't get as much traction because there is a lot more traffic, you know, when you open your phone on TikTok now, compared to the early days, you are bombarded with four, five out of 10 of those first videos are sales um, orientated, mm. whether it's TikTok shop or whether it's, you know, a partner for TikTok. So it's become a completely different platform. And that kind of relates to what I was saying earlier um, about the changes on the app. Um, it is still a volatile app. I see. And also I think Instagram is uh, a little bit smarter with these uh, uh, options that they offer for the creators to lead followers outside the app. For example, the stories with the links in the story, I think that is a very powerful tool for creators. Are you using that? Yeah, I am using that. Yeah, and that's really powerful, really powerful, really great, you know. Um, and I guess TikTok don't want you to go outside the app, um, but it's great that Instagram are uh, allowing you to promote your business. And I think they respect small businesses and small content creators to allow you to do that. And yeah, 
another perk uh, <laughs> of Instagram exactly. at the moment. And I completely agree. I completely is that what you find? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's a, a great tool, and obviously all the apps are uh, are trying to keep people in the app. But I think Instagram was smarter, and they recognized that if we give powerful tools to to the creators, to the businesses, they are going to stay and use the app and uh, produce content for the app. Because I think that is the that is their uh, end goal to have valuable content on their apps and. Uh, that's what keeps the audience in. So I think this is this is where the power of Instagram really lies. That's why we are we started uh, with Instagram with Vine Inspires at the beginning in 2017 and this was our main focus for for the longest time. We also uh, started on TikTok as well but uh, and the growth is great. Uh, the views are very good but uh, as you just uh, mentioned it's a lot harder to Convert. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.